Hello everyone, and in this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to make a CSS navigation bar. It is very similar to the one I showed you in the previous tutorial. And this one has one difference, and that is when you hover over one of the links, a sublink here is shown. So, to make the navigation bar I just showed you in CSS, I'm going to be using a free program from Microsoft Expression. And it's at this website, which I'll put in the description box. And it's going to be over here and it's called Microsoft Expression Web and you can just download Expression Web for Service Pack 2 it's now free but it used to be paid for but Microsoft have now made it free and after installing it the program should look like this and this program is very similar to Dreamweaver and I have made a simple HTML document with a head tag with title home and in the body tag I have an unordered list over here and there are three list items there, each one with the class of main links and all the hyperlinks are to a hashtag which just keeps it on the same place and there's link 1, link 2 and link 3. And inside these list items, as you can see here, there are unordered lists inside those list items because they are before this closing list item tag. So this is all one list item. It goes list item, anchor tag, close the anchor tag, open an unordered list, put some list items in there, close that unordered list, and close the list item, and then it carries on the same thing over here. And these links inside the secondary unordered list, are they have a class of secondary links, so we can style the main links and secondary links differently in CSS. So let's go ahead and put the CSS in. So I'm going to have a new line in the head tag, type in style, type, equals text slash CSS, close that tag, and it puts in the closing style tag for me. And now we're going to target this unordered list, only this one. So we're going to do a hashtag nav because to get the element bytes ID, we use hashtag then nav. So ID, we use hashtag and then nav. And we also want to style in the same way. So we use a comma and we want to style hashtag nav um, ul, which gets the unordered list inside this unordered list. So the unordered list inside nav, it will style them as well in the same way and I'm going to do list style type is none and margin is zero pixels and padding is also zero pixels so now when I press F5 they have all gone to the left and there are no bullet points so that's it for that one and now I'm going to do nav li which are the list items in the uh, in the unordered list with the ID of nav and I'm going to have them float left and the position is going to be relative so that we can position the other links uh, underneath them easily. So now when I press F5, they all swing into position. So now we have finished from that. And now we're going to style our main links. So to get our main links, it is a dot main links to get the anchor tag. And then the dot is for class. And here is main links. And then do an opening curly bracket. This program puts in the closing one for you, so you don't have to do that. And I'm going to do display table cell. And vertical align is going to be middle. And I'm going to have the width as fit. And the height 45 pixels. I do not want to give a specified width. And the padding to be 10 pixels all around it. And I'm going to have the text... Uh, Align to be center. And now if I press F5, you can see that there's now also padding. And they have it's put in padding for the links. And now I'm going to do the background color to red. The text color to black. Text decoration, none. Text transform. Text decoration just removes the um, underline from the hyperlinks. And text transform, I'm going to change everything to uppercase. And I'm going to use the font family of Calibri. The font size can be 20 pixels. And I'm going to make the font weight bold. So now if I press F12, so I can see it in Google Chrome, this is now what it looks like. You can see that now our link items, our main links have been styled. 
Uh, now all we have to do is our secondary links. So if I just close that and go back to expression web. And now I'm going to do a dot secondary links because secondary links are also a class. And open curly bracket. And this one is going to have a background color of hashtag. We, this is a hexadecimal color. Color seven four nine seven B seven semicolon. And the text color is going to be black as well. And I'm going to do display block, which makes it take up the entire line. And the width of each one of these is going to be 120 pixels, because if each one is width to fit, each one is going to be different, and the links don't look right. And the text decoration is going to be none. This again removes the uh, underlining from the hyperlinks. The font family, that can be Calibri as well, to keep the consistency of the the consistency of the page and the font size is a little bit smaller since these are sublinks so I'm going to use 16 pixels and that's it and I'm going to save that and press F12 to see it in Google Chrome and now here are our links that have been styled so here is our main link and here is our secondary link so I'm going to close that because now we have to make the secondary links disappear and only appear when you put your mouse over these links over here so now we are going to type in Hashtag nav a colon hover, which means in the unordered list with the ID of nav, when you hover over the anchor tag inside that one, not the anchor tags inside the secondary unordered list, only this first one, then this CSS code will be done. So background color is, oops, background color is blue and the text color can be white and that's it so now let's see that in google chrome so now when we put our mouse over it it changes the text color and background color for these and now we need to and it's also done the same thing for these ones over here because sorry i was wrong it also does it does all the anchor tags inside that unordered list so now let's close that. So this has styled all the anchor tags inside the under the list with ID nav. So all of these links are styled in this way when you hover over them. And now we're going to type in li and then a greater than sign and ul. So this is the list item with the first child of ul. And I'm going to do display equals uh, display colon none position is what is position position is absolute so now we can absolutely position them we want the left to be zero pixels so that's pushed up against this line here and we want the top to be 100 pixels uh, sorry 100% and the 100% is the total height of this so whatever height you specify this, this 100% will make sure that it is all the way at the bottom here and the left there. So now when I press F12, you can see that they are gone. But now we cannot, we can't get them back. So to do this, we have to do some more CSS. And all it is, is that you have to type li colon hover. So when uh, a list item is hovered, the ul inside that will be set to display block semicolon and that's the code so now once we hover over the link one not only does it change the style for this but it also does the same thing and makes these sublinks appear too and these are uh, styled in the same way so this concludes the so this concludes the CSS navigation bar with drop downs tutorial thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed it and please comment rate and subscribe and if you have any ideas please put them in the comment selection uh, section below and maybe i will select them and make a tutorial about it thank you for watching